Hello and welcome to Socky Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to install the stock Android 4.4 KitKat Google Play Edition on your HTC One. Now this ROM is based off of the latest and purest form of Android 4.4 KitKat, which was designed for the HTC One specifically. So this process will replace the HTC Sense interface with Google Play Edition. Now before you accomplish this task, there are a few requirements you must meet. So there are four of these requirements. Number one, you must have an unlocked boot loader. Number two, you must have a custom recovery installed. Number three, you must have a rooted HTC One. Number four, you must have S off on your device. So before you race ahead, watch my video that details step by step in crystal clear instructions on how to unlock and root your HTC One so that you can immediately meet the first three requirements. After that, you have to go and watch my other video, uh, which is going to show you again in crystal clear instructions on how to gain S off on your device. And that is going to satisfy the fourth requirement. Once you have all those requirements met, then installing a custom ROM is a piece of cake. So assuming that you now meet all the requirements, let's dive right in and get this procedure done. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to grab all the required files to accomplish this task. There's only one file you have to download. So uh, head on to my website post for which I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And then um, from here it says required files to download. So click grab Android 4.4 KitKat, okay? That is going to take you to this website post, and then you want to scroll all the way down to where it says downloads, okay? And here are the two mirrors available for you to download the 4.4 uh, ROM. So you can click either one of these and your download will start right away. Also, this is the perfect time to connect your HTC One to your uh, PC and make sure it is turned on. Okay, and the final thing you want to do is you want to grab that file that we just downloaded and we're going to put that on our HTC One's internal storage. So uh, just navigate to the folder where you keep that file. Mine is in root HTC One GPE and this is the file that we just downloaded. It's called Bixi M7. GPE. So copy this file, go to your computer, make sure you're seeing your HTC One, go inside, go to the internal storage, and paste it right here. Okay, so once the copy paste is complete, we are done with the computer. We're going to switch over to my HTC One and we're going to complete the process. Okay, so here's our phone. You can detach the phone from the PC, and what we're going to do is we're going to shut this phone off, and we're going to go into the custom recovery and start the procedure to install Android 4.4. So let's power this thing off. And then let's uh, press volume down and power at the same time to go to the boot loader mode. Once you're in the boot loader mode, use the volume down key to select recovery and then press power to go into the recovery. Okay, so we are booting into the custom recovery and what we're going to do is we are going to wipe the phone clean. So the very first step is to actually tap that wipe button. Let's just zoom in on this. So tap that wipe button and just understand that as soon as you do the, uh, the next step, everything on your phone is going to disappear any photos pictures videos you have they're gone okay so make sure you make a backup before you do the swipe the wipe I mean so uh, to do the wipe just swipe to factory reset at the bottom there takes a couple seconds to get rid of everything and then go back just tap the back button keep going back and the next step is to install so tap on install and scroll all the way down there's the file that we just moved over to our HTC One from the PC. So tap on it and simply swipe to confirm flash. And this is going to start the installation process of Android 4.4 KitKat on your HTC One. 
Once the procedure is complete, you're going to see a success message. As you see on the screen, the blue successful message. And then what you can do is you can simply tap the reboot system button to reboot into your new Android 4.4 KitKat ROM. From here on, your phone is simply going to restart and um, the first time it's going to take a while before your ROM is going to be ready to be used. So it could take up to uh, five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this whole video to the setup screen so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so we're done. So uh, let's uh, tap this to continue forward. This is the welcome screen. Skip everything for now. Skip skip the Wi-Fi tap skip skip anyway next 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 okay so there it is there's the Android 4.4 so uh, let's go to the settings real quick and take a look at our um, just to verify that we are in fact running 4.4 settings scroll all the way down go to about phone and there you go it's Android version 4.4 alrighty all right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.